Sabonia Stallworth, a leading producer of gold and platinum, announced a significant loss of 37.4 billion in the year ending December. This loss was driven by a 33% decrease in the average platinum group metal basket price. The comparison, the company had a profit of 19 billion rand in 2022. Despite increased production and a rise in the average gold price, Sibanya's performance was heavily impacted. The company's shares on the JSE closed at 5.7%, lower at 18 rand and 22 cents, marking a 50% loss in the value over the past year. Headline earnings per share also plummeted by 90% to 63 cents. FNB Wealth and Investment Analyst Zamel Mbanja shares his sentiment. Yesterday, Sibanya reported full year results for the financial year 2023. Revenue was down 18%, adjusted EBITDA was down 50%, and headline earnings per share were down 90%. The group also recognized 47.5 billion rand in in payment charges across various assets during the year, which ultimately resulted in the group reporting a net profit loss of 37 billion rands. Now, this was not entirely unexpected, given that the biggest hit in performance for the group was the downturn in prices of platinum group metals, as well as nickel. Now, in response to the down cycle, um, over the last year or two, management has taken some steps to reposition their operations, as well as implement some cost saving and uh, capital preservation initiatives that the group says will yield around 6.6 .6 billion rands in savings between 2023 and 2024. Now, we remain comfortable with the group's um, liquidity position, which we believe that uh, it will assist in helping the group buffer the impacts of this down cycle.